It's such a privilege to be with each of you today. And I really appreciate you taking time out of your sacred summer, as I like to call it, to join me. And I want to give um, a shout out to Chan Kat Lim and Marcy Lindsay for helping me figure out how to do this. And hopefully everything will go beautifully during the presentation. Um, my name is Jess Johnson, and I'm um, here in Madison, Wisconsin, where I teach at the University of Wisconsin-Madison. And I was thinking about how long I've been a member of MTNA, and I think I'm celebrating my 35th year. And that's because I joined my first year of college as a music major. And like many of you, uh, this is just one of the many things that MTNA offers. So I hope that you'll get a few ideas that'll help you rejuvenate and maybe practice a little bit more self-compassion as you're you know, taking a little bit better self-care in the summer to get ready for your teaching in the fall for those of you who take it a little bit slower in the, in the summer. So for today's webinar, <clears throat> I'm gonna take a little bit of time at the end of the presentation to address some of your responses and questions. So please go ahead and put things in the chat and hopefully we'll have some time to do that at the end. And I also wanted to mention that later a handout will, with all of the sources that I'm going to talk about, as well as some of the things I talk about in the PowerPoint slides, that will be on the members only section of MTNA of the website. So the topic of self-compassion, I want to first do a disclaimer that I am not an expert on self-compassion. In fact, it's something that only recently I've explored in a very helpful, meaningful way. Um, if I were to describe myself prior to this practice, I would have said that I'm compassionate, empathetic, sensitive, tuned into the feelings of others, like many of you who spend a lot of time teaching and nurturing other people. So I think I was pretty good at putting things out, but not so good at directing energy back in for, in a self-compassionate way. Um, in fact, I would have described myself as usually overly self-critical, quick to judge myself, maybe denigrate myself with the chatter in my head. Um, I'm somebody who has struggled with generalized anxiety for my whole life, and that you know, definitely manifests itself in performance anxiety, as well as being nervous about doing presentations and that sort of thing. And I think many of us, fall into these traps and experience some degree of it, as well as our students. Uh, one other way that I think I didn't give myself the compassion and love that that would have been very beneficial is accepting praise. So even after a concert, when people come backstage or even simple applause, I wasn't really able to take it in. And that can be very destructive. So it's something that we really need to take a look at and see if any of these things might be holding you back or some of your students. 